Hey guys, this is Casey Ferris. Thanks for checking out another one of my videos here on the YouTubes. Today we are talking about slow motion in DaVinci Resolve 14. I've gotten quite a few questions on how to deal with speed changes and do slow motion and things inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now that Resolve is becoming a pretty capable editing app, there seems to be a lot more interest in just the basic like editing things within Resolve. So we're talking slow motion today. And if you guys want more editing focused things, let me know in the comments and I'll try and do some more of that. First thing I'm gonna do is set my project settings and I'm gonna do 23976, just cause that's what I'm used to and I'll hit save. And I have some footage here shot at 120 frames a second on a GoPro Hero 5. And it's gonna ask me if I want to change my frame rate. I'm gonna say, don't change. So let's open up this media and take a look. This is some footage of me playing with my dog. Again, shot at 120 frames a second so I can slow it down and it'll end up nice and smooth. The way that I'm used to working with high frame rate footage, at least inside of Premiere, is I'll right click and go to clip attributes. Here you can change your video frame rate. And so you could just change this to 24 or 23, 976 or whatever your project frame rate is and then bring that into the timeline. And that does work really well. You get that nice smooth slow motion because it's just playing those frames back at 23.976 instead of 120. And if you don't need the audio, you can just delete the audio and it works great. There does seem to be some kind of issue that many of you have talked about and I'm experiencing as well, where when you slow it down, the audio doesn't slow down with it. If you wanna hear that kind of slow down drunk speak type of audio, just isn't gonna work out. So the other way that you can do this that works just as well, but actually has the audio, I'll go back to my clip attributes and set this back to where it was, and I'll just drag it down into my timeline, select my clip, right click and say, change clip speed, and for the speed, I'll hit 20% because that ends up doing pretty much the same thing as slowing it down to 24 frames a second. I'll also unclick, pitch correction because it sounds super weird if you don't, and I'll hit change. Now I can just drag these clips out and voila, we have our slow motion with our slow audio alongside. So yeah, that way of doing things actually works really great. Now let's say I want to do a speed ramp. Maybe the dog comes around the corner really fast and then slows down and then comes back this way really fast. I can do that a few ways, but how I like to do it is just drag this down to the timeline in full speed and kind of start to edit it, something like this. So the dog goes all the way around, perfect. And I'm gonna scrub through here and figure out the point where I want it to slow down. So let's go like right here. I'm gonna right click on my clip, go up to retime controls, and that'll open up my little speed change thing here. Where this says 100%, there's a little arrow, click on that and say add speed point. That's gonna add a speed point right where my playhead is. And I'm also gonna move down to where I want it to speed up again. Let's go like here, same thing, right where it says 100, add speed point. And now I have three different sections of the video and I can change that speed. So I'm gonna take this middle section and I'm gonna change speed to let's say 25%. And I can even drag this out to 20% if I want to. Now the clip will start at 100%, slow down here and go back to 100%. So let's look at it in real time. Yeah. Nice. Dog action. Slow-mo dog action. And if I wanna change this even more, I can roll this up, right click and say retime curve. Select this little point and switch the type of keyframe by hitting this little button and it will flatten out the tangents on this keyframe. Now watch this. Comes in and then he speeds up. Do the same thing here. And now we have a much smoother transition in and out of the slow motion. So yeah, there's some basics of slow motion and speed ramping inside of DaVinci Resolve. Pretty darn powerful controls for this. Uh, I'm actually really impressed. So hope you guys like this. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. If you like this, hit like. And for more videos on DaVinci Resolve, color grading, post-production in general, make sure to hit that subscribe button. My name again is Casey Ferris. I will catch you next time.